see what we're going to do now. It's a trip gasoline. And they clean everything up. You can see everything is nice and clean. You want the no you know you want the old grease or debris. It should be clean. You want it clean. So uh, to gasoline you can also take um, brake clean. Do whatever you like. Brake clean doesn't smell of from gasoline, but it could be the same. So now you take your wait. Yes. Now you take your grease. The Titan Grease and LNGI2, how you call it, when I pronounce it nice, is for a uh, wheel bearing brake disc, very important. And you smear it on here, make it nice and greasy. So your wheel bearings will last a long time. You can see it's nice and greasy. You will need a lot of grease. Now, uh, clean the space, the orange touches to uh, the, the small plastic seal touches to clean it nice and up. Make it nice and clean and greasy, that's very important. Grease is your best friend, no reason not to use it. Oh, jeez, now oh, I hear the problem. I don't like this. Uh, with the grease, the care pattern to put it in because you have to you have to cut it when it gets lower and lower. You have to always cut it. So more than enough grease. Just put a little bit here to be sure. Your net. Now. You take your brake disc with this crack, put it on. I will pronounce it very well. Now, no. uh, you want to put it like this. Search the cross cut here, here down downwards. More than enough grease. You would, I think I put a little bit too much grease on. So it doesn't matter, it will score screw it out. Yes, you can see I have put a little bit too much grease or way too much grease on it. But it doesn't matter. It will score it out, you will clean it up, and then you have no problems. Now push this, push the bearing in. Clean up the grease, the excess grease that comes out. Too much doesn't matter, you will clean it up. up. If it's less than you need, then you will mess up your wheel bearing. Just to let you know. Now there are two recesses. This one um, is the upper one. There's something like this, it won't fit. Wait. Oh, sorry. Here's here is one, this one fit, the here is one that won't fit, and this is one it will fit. You can see it's nice. <sighs> That's messy. Clean up your hands a little bit. Maybe change gloves. Uh, so you can use a lot of grease, but don't use way too much grease. Or use too much and it will squirt out and will clean it off. Do whatever you like. Here now. Um, here is your circle clip, wherever you put it. This is one we took out of the speedometer cable. Here is your head. You will put a little bit of grease on it for some reason. Don't ask me why. I've just seen it a lot of times be done, so we'll do it too. Probably has a lot of grease, and I forgot that you have to install the nut. So here is your nut. 
you can see it. Uh, your washer. Make sure you have your washer on. Mine is on. Um, your wheel bearing. Here is your nut. And your dial by hand for now. I will bring my tool for this. My 26 millimeter. to touch the glue. Glue glue in the wheel bag. And here is my box where I put everything in. And guys, what accidentally some uh, uh, dirty towels in. So now what you want to take to do is torque it, torque it down until you can't. Don't use a little force, just torque it. Move it a little bit. So it seats. Now it's hard. I'm not ready now. Just move it a little bit. So you assume that the uh, wheel bearing has seated. So now what you take do is first of all clean all the squeeze off. You will put it back on later, but for now it's all clean. And you want to weave it one. This washer here, you put in, you want it to be able to move with a screwdriver. I mean, you take your screwdriver here, and you try to move it like this. Like this, like this. You want it to be able to move barely. Not if you do like, if you just touch it smooth. If you put a little bit of force, you want it to move. Now it doesn't move, so I have to loosen it up. And then what you do is, here are these recesses, here and here if you want, you can clean it here too. And here are, is this recess. When it's uh, ready, you take a big screwdriver, big hammer, put it like this here, and then you hit it with force until this here bends and uh, touches the end of this recess. So it won't lose by itself, this is very important. This is also why you want to use this knife. Mm. Uh, sorry for the alarm, something went wrong somewhere. <sighs> now, the tool. Loosen it up. You can see, now I'm able to move it with my hand. It's still loose. A little bit more. I'm still able to move it with my hand. It's still loose. Let's see with the screwdriver, I can move it. Okay. Still I can move it with my hand as you can see. To loose. Wait. Uh, this uh, the, the clothing I'm wearing now is worth the coffee. So don't complain about I'm making it dirty. I just don't care about it, I can't do it. It will be thrown away anyway, so I don't care if I mess it up or not. So now, see if we can move it. No, no, I can't. It's too tight. You want to do this until you find the sweet spot. Look, I can move it now with my screwdriver without moving it more. I can still move it. Yes, I can move it. As you can see with my hand too. I can move it like a little bit more. Yes, now I can still move it. I think this is perfect. Uh, I will bring my hammer and I'm um, back in there. My hammer. I will find the recess here. Here, it's exactly here. My armor, hammer and chisel on it. To where you want it to right to. You want to be a screwdriver if you use one that has a metal end. 
so it's made for head wounds. Make sure you didn't lose it. So we do it. I think I have uh, made it tighter. No, it's okay. But just make sure you don't change that uh, adjustment on it. I use a big screwdriver uh, hammer because it will take less time to be done. Then, uh, oh, I messed up my favorite screwdriver. As you can see, I may uh, grind it a little bit down so it will be fine again. We, we try a chisel or so. We can do this. Uh, so you can see, it starts getting cleaned. So take a chisel, not your sc favorite screwdriver. You want it to be cleaned really good. If not, um, we'll do the side too. You want to clean it really good. good. I'm, I'm speaking pretty annoying English for some reason, so I'm doing good. Stuff and you know what it is. I don't know what it is now. And clean it from your tooth. You know, I screw the other tooth. So you are sure that it won't make it. It won't freeze. No. Okay, I'm ready. I will show you now what I've done. As you can see, cleaned up. It's uh, indented here. Wait, I have to focus it. Yes, here it's indented, here's indented too, so it won't lose by itself. It won't get loose, what I mean. Maybe a little bit here or more here. I may overdo it, but okay, it just don't take too much. So, now I'm really excited. Um, now what you want to do is take your grease cap, uh, lay the only the circle by side, take some grease. You want to mess it up with grease, yeah, fill it up with grease. Yes. So it has a good grease bed. Put it in like this. Now you have a filled grease cap. And in the case of an accident, or you need grease, you just pop it off and then you have grease. And take it like this easy peasy lemon squeezy, how you call it. And you want to be sure this is intact in case it is because the speedometer won't work if it's not intact. Oh, now you can wiggle this little pita thing. No, you got it. It's really nice. Basically, you may not want it to be looking out you, because you want to hit it to get into play, and it's not getting in really good or easy. So, I done it. Uh, uh, lesson learned. Uh, don't use a big hammer. Just have it from the side. Slowly, fuck. Oh, so 
hopefully it's nothing. <sighs> Please go in. Just so messy. my life. Maybe it will come off by itself. Just be tapping it a little. Yes, it comes. Okay, it comes. Just tap it and it will come out again. Just tap it again. out okay I got it out what you want to do now is take your circle clip here's some small indentation put the circle clip on this little guy I bent it a little bit so it would be snug again but I bent it a little bit too much so unbent it usually it will be a little bit too large because when you you stretch it when you do it when you move it so you have to bend it a little bit, but I've done it also. It tries to go in again. So what you want to do now is take your shell clip, push it in. Yes, it goes in, luckily. Here is your shell clip. Maybe press it a little bit to be sure that it's okay. Try, try to remove it with your ha bare hands and if it goes away you need to pry it a little bit now what happens is this is what reads your uh, your speed mm. uh, clean everything out with a bit of paper and then uh, clean the rotor up with gasoline or brake clean Um, I think it's, yes, it's perfectly on, it's beautiful, it's quiet, yes, that's it, it's really nice and quiet, that's what's called, I will do a repack video, and then I will show you it on the old ones, because my wheelberry uh, repack I've done also one but my phone ate it or my PC I don't know what exactly so I will redo it because it's very important to know uh, how to pack your bearings so it doesn't matter if I waste a little bit of grease to teach you something very useful okay uh, now we have to install the, the caliper the pads clean the rotor and we're done.